So Google has finally released writing tools on Gboard specifically for the Pixel 9 series and the Pixel 10 series. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use them. Hey, what's up? I'm Michael B Tech. My name is Michael and here I show you a lot of tips and tricks related to Google Pixel devices and Google Apps and Services. If you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss my next video. So today Google has officially released the new Gemini writing tools built inside the Gboard app specifically on Pixel 9 and Pixel 10. Let's check it out. So the best way I can show you this is just to show you it to you inside the Google Keep Notes app where I can just type in whatever I want. But it's really easy. Once you start typing, you'll not only see a little pencil up at the top that has stars on it, but let's say I start typing or let's do a voice type for sure. So this is a voice note to just to create a random note to see how this works. I'm going to end up editing the, this anyway so that we could fix it. Pretty cool way to just show a uh, voice assistant as well. But as you can see, once I'm done typing, you're gonna get a nice little notification here that kind of shows you some magic AI that could happen in the background. So if I tap on that, that activates writing tool. So that way it kind of reads everything that's showing me there and then it kind of offers some type of recommendations on how I could change a few things, make it sound a lot more cohesive, add punctuation and things like that. But I can also swipe through and find other options like it added a comma on the beginning after so. Third one, Chasm gives me a little bit more adding a comma at the last part of the sentence. But what's even cooler is the fact that you have also other tools at the bottom. So I can actually rephrase exactly what I was saying here. So I tap on rephrase and now it actually changes the structure of my sentence a lot like a, in a different way. Still kind of conveys the same message that which I was trying to say, but it just rephrases it. And it also gives me still three options to use. Let's do a professional one. And again, this is really good if say if you're writing like either a resume or if you're trying to send a professional email, you can also add some professional style to your writing. Let's go to friendly as well. This will probably make it a lot more casual. Yeah, adding like a hey, oh, it actually changed it even more. Just want to send this quick note, make it a little bit more, you know, casual. Adds a little smiley face at the, at the bottom is there as well. Let's do Emojify. This one will probably have a bunch of random emojis somewhere. So like that one was a lot more subtle. Oops, sorry. Let's do that again. Go back to Emojify. So yeah, this one's a little bit more subtle. Actually, no, has a lot, a lot of emojis. I don't really type like this, honestly. Sometimes I do just to be funny, but it's kind of nice to have this kind of functionality to be able to change your writing style a little bit. Again, it's still something that I wrote or said myself, but I can obviously edit it how I want. Or the cool thing is I can even elaborate. So it's gonna add a lot more context to the message that which I'll say up top. As you can see, it's a little bit, a little bit larger. Let's do something a little bit more complex. And the cool thing about this is that it all happens on device. You see that I am on Wi-Fi, but in a second, I'll show you how you can do this off, offline as well. Right, so one cool thing about writing tools is that you actually don't have to be on the internet or connected to data to be able to use it. Everything happens on device. And I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna turn on airplane mode, all right? So it lets you know I have no internet. I'm completely not connected whatsoever. So I can still, not only can I to use writing tools, but I can also use voice assist. So I can turn on voice assist, clear. So this is gonna be a message for John tomorrow so that he'll know that he has a meeting not only at 2 p.m. but also at 5 p.m. And it's really important that he brings his laptop so he can take notes. So I'm gonna end that, hit space, and then you're gonna see the writing tools pop up. And now it's gonna read the entire message or the text that which I wrote. And now it's actually gonna add some punctuation automatically for proofreading, but I'm gonna make it more professional. Again, all of this is happening on device, as you can see, it's in airplane mode. So that means that none of this information, none of this, this these letters or these texts are gonna be sent up to the cloud. Everything is happening on the Pixel 9 Pro. So if I use this, automatically changes it. Still, I can even use the elaborate button so let's just automatically elaborate. And again, you see, it's still operating really fast on the device. I could still use this one, it's still going to, so let's go. 
use that one and boom there you go of course if you found this video incredibly helpful please subscribe and follow so you can get more of these videos on your timeline and of course like it comment down below if you have any questions